No, no, but I want you to have a seat. Relax, come on. <laughs> come on, come on quit running away. Watch, now it gets deadly. If you're a real closer, this is what I would do. I'm an addict, addicted to being savage. My life is a little graphic, like HBO making magic. I'm rapping to make that passive money coming from traffic to win mental gymnastics. These are the most important thing to focus on as a closer. What direction is the chair facing? Okay, when you, when you went into the house, were you sitting across the table from him? Yes. No, no. Watch. See this? Okay, cool. So you have your iPad, right? And you're like, okay, guys, I want to go over this information with you. Where's a good place to have a seat? Okay? Go ahead and sit down. Here, where, where are we going to go? Lead the way. Go ahead and sit down. Okay, and this is the table, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good sized table. But sit down. Okay. So I'm gonna go, okay, now, sir, would this be okay? I wanna go over this with you in case you have any questions. Would it be okay if I came around there and went over this with you? Yes, sir. Would that be okay? Yeah. Cool, watch, okay. So what I want you to understand is obviously there's a lot of fly-by-night tree companies in the area, a lot of amateurs, it takes 30 years to build the tree, it takes a day to cut it down, it takes a day to kill it. So we don't want anybody chopping on your tree that's not a pro. We are pros, I wanna explain to you what we're gonna be doing, who's gonna be doing it, I'm gonna walk you through the A to Z, and as long as you're good, We'll get this set up, fair? And then you show, there you go, got you. Watch, see my knee, where's it at? This makes you dangerous. People, they don't get this. This is where they miss out. Now listen, what did I say? I need you to understand this. You have to earn the right to ask for somebody's business, am I right? There's an old saying that says earn the right. I have to earn the right to come in your home when I shake your hand. I have to earn the right to ask for your business. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, will you allow me to do the honor of taking care of this for you? I have to earn the right by doing my job well to earn the right to ask. Most salespeople ask, ain't earn the right, dude. You don't have the right to ask me. You haven't done a good job. You haven't built rapport yet. No, no, but I want you to have a seat. Relax, come on. Come on, quit running away. Let's do it. What did I do? I have, I have this iPad, right? I have this deal in any industry, right? I have this deal and it's very nonchalant. It's not like you're saying, oh, hey, I'm gonna slide next to you, is that okay? No, 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 no. Is this important? Yes. An important thing should be explained properly. And, and if it's important, don't you wanna give them the opportunity to interrupt if they don't understand something? Sure. Right, and the way you present something is the way people perceive it, would you agree? Okay, yes. that's why I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pretend as if I'm going to sit in the chair. I'm gonna say, okay, guys, all right, now check this out. You know what? I want to go over this with you. Make sure that in case you have any questions, you can interrupt me. Is it okay to slide around there just to make sure I explain this all the way through? Is that okay? Yeah. Earn the right. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? This is where salesmen go wrong. They come in and they're like, okay. And they're like, why are you so close to me? Right. Why are you close to them? And that's what I was thinking before you just said that. Earn the right. Okay. What am I going to say? What am I gonna say? Question, so on our iPads, we're typing a lot of this stuff up by hand, so you would type it up across to them and then ask that permission to go. Yeah, just say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and type this up, put an estimate in. If you wanna grab something to drink, cup, a cup of coffee, relax, and take me about five minutes, is that okay? Can I sit here, is that okay? All right, cool, do what you need to do. The second you're ready to present, which means you're ready to close, okay? I'm ready to close. I'm here, they're there, they're wherever. Even when they say, hey, you want a bottle of water, do you accept? Yes. Absolutely, right? Yes. Right. Yes, I want them to get a bottle of water. Yeah. Matter of fact, when you're a closer, you guys really ready to grow today and learn? Absolutely. If you're a real closer, this is what I would do. I would walk in and I would say, no, 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 sit, this is your home. I wanna serve you in your home. I'm, can I get you a glass of water? No way. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. No, no, I want to serve. No, listen. My house I wasn't home. No, just tell me where the water is and I'm happy to get it for you, man. Hey, wow. go and have a seat. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of people, they just do business with me. It's personal. So when I'm here, I want to make sure that you're comfortable. I want to go over everything. Let me get you a cup of water. We've been outside. Uh, where's the water? Oh, no, no, no. I'll get it. Where's it at? Okay, what am I doing? If you want to know what I'm really doing, I'm taking control. I'm taking control of you in your home, and now you're like, no, you don't have to do that. Guess what? My wife, I say, hey, babe, you want to go out on your birthday? 
She said, nah, bullshit. She wants to go out on her birthday. Don't fall for that shit. If you don't take her out on her birthday, she's pissed off for a year. Okay? And then you're like, and then you're a dummy. You're like, what? You said you didn't want to go out. You're such an idiot, dude. No means yes. Right? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So when I say this and I go in their house, I say, man, whew, it's hot out there, isn't it? Let me go ahead and get you something to drink. Um, where's the cups? Where, and, and I'll get some water. Do you guys use uh, tap water or regular water? Um, I'll get you one. Where's it at? Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to do that. No, no, no. I, I love serving you in your home. Listen to me. If you come to my house, my wife's going to feed you. That's the way things work around here. So anytime I come into someone to do work, I want you to feel comfortable around me. I want you to know I'm here to serve you at the highest level. Like, what am I doing? I make, guys, by the way, you know what the strongest selling tool in the world is? Yes. No. Stronger, stronger, yes, relationships are strong. The strongest selling tool that's ever existed. You're gonna get it. Reciprocity. What? Reciprocity. Reciprocity means once I give you something, you have to give me something back. I have no idea. Okay, what does reciprocity mean? It means if I give him a glass of water, who gave? What am I about to do? Ask for something. What am I looking for? Him to give me a check. Wouldn't I want to give him something before I ask for something? Listen, guys, this is all the psychology of selling. This is the art of the deal. This is the art of selling. This is the art of relationships. This is the art of setting up the sale so it can be closed. This is the art of getting people to be comfortable. This is the art of getting people to do things that they normally wouldn't do. Okay? Now listen to me. What did I, what did I do? Notice I brought my wife up. Why? Right? Because if I'm in a house, I'll tell a guy. I'll be like, hey, go and have a seat. Hey, by the way, where's the water at? Let me get you a cup. Of, I'll get us a glass of water. Where's the water at? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, no. I'm good. No, let me get you something, man. For real, dude. Listen, hey, sir, if you come into my house... My wife, she's going to feed you. She don't care who you are. That's the way she is. She has everybody amount of, uh, lots of love. It's going to take me about five minutes to put this together. Let me get you a cup of water. Where's the cups? Don't even ask. Look around. Like, where's the cups? Like this. And he's like, they're there. And you're like, awesome. Or he'll say, no, no, no. I'll get you one. Say, well, shoot. Let's get one together, man. Come on. I got you. Like, dude, listen. Like, hey, I, I, I'm glad I'm not going to be here for long. But while I'm here, I want you to ask any, any questions. And I want you to be comfortable with me. Be comfortable. Dude, listen to me, reciprocity. My number one goal is that I want him to take something from me. There was in a close that I was in the service drive, okay? Okay, when a customer used to come into a car dealership, let me go through this with you for a minute, just so you can understand this. I take control really fast, okay? So stand up. So a guy comes in, you're coming over here. I say, sir, how you doing? Andy Elliott, what's your name? Ashton Shipley. Ashton, nice to meet you. Are you here for sales or service? Service. Service. Nice. Come on over here. Let me introduce you to service department. By the way, hey, if you wouldn't mind, can I give you my business card? Yes, that please. way, in case you're over here, if you have any questions, maybe the service bill's too high, maybe you have any questions, you can come find me over here. Would that be fair? That'll work. Awesome. Most of the time, they'll come find me. Now, my goal is I'm in sales. So say sales. Sir, Andy Elliott, what's your name? Ashton. Ashton, nice to meet you. Are you nice here for sales or service? I guess I would say sales. Sales. Yeah. Sales. Nice to meet you. Ashton, would it be okay if I had the honor of serving you today, or are you here to see someone else? Show me what you got. My man. Again, Ashton, my name's Andy Elliott. Just put a name with the face now that I'll be dealing with you. My job today is to give you world-class customer service and take care of you and your family and all the highest levels that are important to you. So, it, so it's an honor to be here with you. Um, what brought you in today? What are you looking for? New truck. New truck? Awesome. Come on this way. By the way, what can I get you to drink? Something hot or cold to drink? Same coffee. Okay. I'm going to get him something. Tell me you don't want something to drink. What can I get you to drink today? I'm good. Oh, no, I, I got to get you something. Listen, if you come to my house, my wife's going to feed you, okay? So I'll get you something hot to drink, cold to drink. I'll get you an empty cup. I don't care. I got to get you something. What do you want? I guess I'll take a coffee. What did I do? Desperosity. No, I just got him to take something from me. 
I said, the way that things yeah. that go at work in my house, if you come to my house, I, I said this every time. I said, the, th the way things that work at my house, if you come to my house, my wife's going to feed you, okay? And I'd always do that little laugh. I'd say, okay. And then I would say, so I'll get you something hot to drink. I'll get you something cold to drink. I'll get you an empty cup, but I got to get you something, okay? What can I get you? And I stop and they go, cold to drink. Cool. Come on. Let's, let's go. What did I do? Number one, I just completely paradigm shift him. And now, number one, he sees that I care. Also, number two, I just took control. I mean, I'm 30 seconds into the deal and I own this guy. Okay. Now, listen to me. I know a lot of you say, well, I wouldn't let that happen. Pfft, trust me. I do it every single time. People don't even know what's happening. Now, can I ask you a question? You know, when people see videos like this on YouTube, they're like, I would never fall for that. They have no idea what's happening when it's happening. Okay? Like, like killers that are professionals are killers. When a sniper takes you out, people are like, I would never let that sniper take me out. You would never know there was a sniper there. You would be dead. Dude, people that are experts and professionals, when they're teaching what they do, now you know what they would do. So you're like, I would never let that happen to me. Bull crap. Okay? So, so my goal is, I need you to understand this, as I'm sitting here with him and we're in the kitchen table, I would say, sir, this is going to take me about five minutes just to put this together accurately. Um, let me get you something to drink. Um, where's, the, where's the water at? Would you like water? Is that okay? I'm in your home. Now, they'll say, oh, no, 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 no. I don't need anything. No, 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 no. I insist. If you were to come to my house, even though I'm not in my house, I would say, if you were to come to my house, my wife would feed you, Okay. So it's going to take me a couple minutes. We've been outside. It's hot. Let me get you something to drink while I write this up. What can I get you? And I guarantee, watch, even if they don't take something from you, they're going to say, no, 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 no. I'll get it. You do what you're going to do. Now what is that? Now it's got them serving you. Now you're taking control. Now when they will get you a cup of water, now you're friends. There has to be some friendship. Yes. You have to go, guys, there's relational and transactional. Most salespeople can never get out of the transactional stage. Hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm here to look at trees. I count the trees. I'm going to give you a quote. Where's the relationship get built? You think because you go, oh, nice house. Hey, beautiful yard. You think that's going to build a relationship? No. People that are my friends, they do things for me and I do things for them. You've got to get them to do some act of kindness for you so they switch over from the transactional side to the relational side. Now we're about to get to the transaction, but we're in a relationship. By the way, don't ever discredit what getting a glass of water could do in a home before negotiations go down. It happens all the time. Yep. It's one of the main things. Can I get you water? Can I get you water? Yes, you and you need to say yes. Well, say that would be awesome. I don't, and I know it's a big Stop it. When you say no, you're, you're actually killing the opportunity for them to go deeper into relationship with you. And, and by the way, when people say that, you, you can say, man, you're, you're too kind. My wife would love you. She's awesome. You actually remind me of her. She's super cool. She's always taking care of everybody in the house. So I just want to say thank you. That would be awesome. And by the way, hey, I, I'm happy to get it. And they're like, no, 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 I'll get it. You're like, you're too sweet. Thank you so much. What are we doing? Relationship tying in. Okay. Now I want to say one more thing as I had him get up, but you're sitting there, right? Go ahead and sit down. I, I ask him, um, where's it okay to sit? And they say, Oh, right here. Don't worry about where you're sitting now. That's not important. It's where you're sitting when you present. Okay. Your goal is if you're going to pull a rabbit out of a hat, you don't want to tell them you're going to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Okay, so I don't want to say, okay, where are you going to sit? Well, I want to make sure I'm right next to you. Shh, 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 shh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just say, oh, wh wh where'd you like to sit? That table? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to sit down, and if you have things you need to do, go ahead and take care of it. I'm just going to sit down. It's going to take me five minutes. Would that be fair? Awesome. And then when I sit down, I'm going to get this thing ready. And once I'm ready, I'm like, okay, looks like we can get everything wrapped up. We're good to go. All I need to do is call dispatch. And by the way, listen to me. How long does it normally take to get someone out on the job? I want to explain how I operate. Um, I have a level where my goal is to make the client feel as special as possible. And the more they feel like I'm doing for them, the more they want to do for me. And the more I do for them, the less this price tag really even matters. So I just, I'm giving you some tips that high achievers do, okay? Um, so how does dispatch work? 
Let's say he signs off on the ticket. How long does it take to normally get someone out? Okay. But normally a week, week and a half. Is that right? Okay, so a week to two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say a statement. Okay? All right. And by the way, sometimes people just have problems in their yard and need to take care of them. And sometimes there's storms that come in and lots of people have problems. So it makes sense why you can't get to it right away. Is that right? Okay, so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna say, sir, I wanna go over all this with you really in depth, line by line. Um, I kinda would like to sit over there next to you so as I explain this to you, if you have any questions, you can interrupt me. Would that be okay? Perfect. Okay, what am I gonna do now? I said, I'm gonna go over this line by line, walk you through A to Z, and then that way in case you have any questions, you can interrupt me. So when you tell someone they can interrupt you, they like that. That way when I'm explaining it, you can interrupt, interrupt me if you have any questions. Would that be okay? Would it be all right if I slid over there just to, while we had any questions we went through this? Would that be okay? Notice I put my hands up like, would that be okay? And they'll always say, oh sure. Watch, now it gets deadly. Take your chair or just move out of that chair to this chair. Now this chair must be angled like this. This chair does not sit like this. It's not shoulder to shoulder, it's knee to knee. Okay, so I'm gonna take this chair and I'm gonna put it like this. And I'm gonna say, all right, so great, so check this out. By the way, I wanna tell you something. I called dispatch before, I, before I'm gonna go over this. I called dispatch for you. Your job right now in the area takes anywhere from four to six weeks to get done. Everybody's so backed up. I called dispatch for you. As long as you're cool with this, I can get this done within a week or two. I'm gonna push you to the front of the line. Fair? Sounds fair to me. What did I do? I, right before I presented, gave him something special. Why? Because I need, right before he receives this prize, this quote, I need him to like me. I need, I need his receptors to all be like, I like this guy. That way, no matter how he feels about this, remember, in a negotiation, I wanna explain how this works. People will always remember, they'll only remember the last 30 seconds of the negotiation. So if you start out good, but then you get fumbly, you're dead. If you start out fumbly, but you finish strong, you're good. The goal is to be a sniper the whole time, but I need his receptors to be in. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna say, and by the way, before we start, I say before we start, this job, I called dispatch for you before. Normally I don't call dispatch until after but I called them up front for you because I know this job would take anywhere from four to six weeks before someone could get in. However, I called dispatch and they said they could push us to the front of the line and get us in within a week to two weeks. Does that sound fair? What am I doing? I'm shaking his hand on what? On the agreement about, would that be fair if I pushed you to the front of the line? He's like, yeah, that'd be great. What did he do? Remember you guys talked about trial clothes? He just closed it. I just trial closed him that we have a deal that if he's okay with this, I could push him to the front of the line. Also, what did I do? I actually just got him to shake my hand for the first time and I'm about to get him to shake my hand again. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, so great news. Now what we're gonna go over here, I'm gonna walk you through the A to Z. Is that cool? All right, now there's a couple things here. Now amateurs, what they'll do is they'll tear that tree out, but then they're not gonna come back around, they're not gonna fix the soil, and then all the trees are gonna end up dying. Does that make sense? Okay, I need you to understand this. There's good consequences and bad consequences. Good consequences, I'm gonna come in today, you're gonna pay for the time for our effort for the professionals to come out to remove the tree. We're gonna fix the soil problem. The rest of the trees are gonna get trimmed. They're gonna be super healthy and they're gonna live a long, super great life and no more of them are gonna die. Bad consequences, okay? okay? Using business with professionals is a little bit more money. The people that I use to do the job will protect the, the trees, ensure that they last forever. And by the way, I don't like cheap stuff. Do you like cheap stuff? Not at all. Me neither. I like to do stuff right, do it done once, because if you do cheap stuff, it costs more money because you end up doing it twice. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to knock this backyard out in one swing. Get it done right, bring the five-star players in, have the professional tree climbers, the tree trimmers, the right soil stuff to come in, remove that tree properly, not damage any of it, and leave this, leave this backyard 10 times better looking than it's ever looked in its life when we leave. Okay, and also respect your property. With that being said, we're gonna go all the way from the A to Z to the finish. This is gonna be the amount right here. And as long as you're good with that, I'm gonna go ahead and call dispatch and start work immediately, fair? Sounds fair to me. 
Notice, I said fair and I put my hand right out. I didn't say, are you okay with that? And then pause. I said, fair? Awesome, you're the best. I said fair and put my hand in front of his chest before he could even say yes. Fair? It's already there. Could I have done that in that chair? Listen, I know the value in what I do. I know when we do this, it's gonna be done right. I know when something's done right, it's gonna cost more. Ferraris are more expensive than freaking Malibus for a reason. They're a whole different caliber of car, okay? Are you guys the Ferrari or are you the Malibu? You know what I mean? You're Chevy Impala or are you a freaking Ferrari? You're a Ferrari, you have a Ferrari business, okay? You have a Range Rover business. You have the best business in the world. So I just wanna say, when you're going over this stuff, like, don't be scared, guys. By the way, you've heard that. Don't be scared. No, be trained. You'll never be scared. Okay? Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.